Hi guys, hi, welcome to my channel, Anchor and Advice. This is going to be a Libra reading from October 17th to the 18th. There's hundreds and millions of Libras out there, so this is not going to be every single Libra story, okay? Also feel free to stop around the energies. Um, the energies are interchangeable, it's a general reading, so uh, I could always be talking to somebody that you're dealing with. And, um, and just so you know, in tarot, there's really no such thing as gender, so feel free to stop around the gender as well, okay guys? Uh, I'm using the uh, Russian St. Peter's deck, um, just be uh, tarot deck because it's dark, you know, in theme of Halloween. I also have a zombie deck that I'm really excited for that I will bust out. Um, but I need to get a little used to it because it's not like cups, pages, and uh, coins, and it's it's different. So, okay, let's see. Libra, October 17th to the 18th. Attachment. Okay, Libra, so um, what the attachment means is you could be attached to things, and uh, pretty much she's chained to a stick, and she's holding a mask. So what that means is there's some attachments here that you might have to let go of. And, um, you know, you have to let go of some past things to make room for some new things. So even if you're throwing things out, you know, um, and, and you know, that's, that's making room for new things, okay? And here it says door to personal healing and happiness. It came out upside down. Um, so, you know, there might be some baggage you're holding on to, past things, past, you know, negative thought patterns. Take it how it resonates, guys, but I'm going to leave it in the upright, and then we'll see what's up with the tarot deck. So, uh, any more cards from this deck for Libra, October 17th to the 18th? Can I get one more card, Holy Spirit? Well, fine. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Can I get another card for Libra, October 17th to the 18th? Holy Spirit. Okay. Thank you. Man holding a heart. Okay, Libra. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the musician in the and the mirror. This is knowing your power. Uh, that's kind of what the musician and the mirror is. Knowing your power, using your power. So there might be some things you have to let go of. Honestly, Libra, you are the person you're dealing with, right? Because um, it's holding you back. Uh, you are them. And with uh, switch it around. And I'm going to say that very fluently because people attack me in the comments. So uh, door to personal healing and happiness here. You know, there has to be some healing involved. Uh, it could be a masculine figure in this case, you know, that way it could be man holding a heart means balance. So if you're even like de dealing with the family, you know, the family dynamic will be a lot more balanced as well. Um, so let's see Libra. October 17th to the 18th, last shuffle for Libra. Yeah, seven of swords. So you could be dealing with some shadiness, even lying with omission. That's what the seven of swords is. It's just sneaky shady not being honest page of swords spying justice libra wow okay so it could be you libra you could also be dealing with another libra what is the attachments for libra october 17th to the 18th queen of coins clarify the queen of coins I have another card for the Queen of Coins. Four of Cups. So you could be holding on to somebody. This could be a family. Ten has a lot to do with family. It was a stable family in the past. And now it's like whoever. It could be this Queen of Coins. You. This could be you or someone you're dealing with. Very nurturing, down to earth, stable, reliable, dependable, very giving. Right? And with the Four of Cups, this person could be holding back or you are Libra. Um, and it's causing a stagnation. But it, I honestly feel like it's just somebody's not a priority here. Ten of clubs. Nine of cups sideways. See, in order to get what you want, I always say, you know, your personal, your, your spiritual health is your wealth, okay? And there's healing having to happen here in order for nine of cups to be in the upright. It's sideways. So you guys are, are are getting about everything that you want. You know, maybe after this weekend, it'll be in the upright. But like, um, you know, and but currently it's like with the Ten of Clubs here, you know, this might be a challenge. Uh, you or, or the person that you're dealing with, um, the masculine in this case. Um, and I've met women who are masculine, you know, have masculine in them and vice versa. You know, men who have feminine in them. So uh, with the man holding a heart, this could be a challenge for this person to open up to be vulnerable 
with the sun card yeah this this could be actually very stable could be very happy see the two of cups it's a strong soul connection here and it's a healthy one you see but i just feel like somebody is having issues op opening up so what is that man holding a heart and the ten of clubs for libra october 17th to the 18th see um seven of clubs five of cups upside down so there's some regrets here disappointments but see that's what is being let go of regrets disappointments shame um libra october 17th to the 18th we have six of swords see positive movement forward that's healing that's balancing the emotions it's also traveling with the high priest upside down here honestly you could be dealing with like a feminine who is kind of um uh, well, with the High Priestess upside down, the Death card upside down. So somebody doesn't want to end a relationship here. There was another card. Eight of Coins. See, somebody, it's like this connection between you guys works when it's all about money, you know, um... This connection works when it's all about money. Uh, but with the Five of Cups upside down, see, it's getting letting go of the regrets, letting go of the disappointment so it can start a new cycle. You could also be dealing with the Scorpio. What is that High Priestess upside down in the death card? I don't want to say Five of Clubs. Okay, because honestly, with the High Priestess upside down, that's somebody who leads people to destruction in a way because it's being very materialistic. It's like, you know... Um, it's, it's arguments. It's just somebody being difficult. And with the death card upside down and the seven of cups, somebody's focusing on animal instincts. Like I said, it's not a priority. Like the relationship's not a priority. Uh, they could just be focused on, when I say animal instincts, I mean like sex, drugs, money, partying. Uh, you know, survival mode. Um, and with the seven of cups, just being lost in the material world, wanting wanting more than than they might actually need. Whether this is you or the person that you're dealing with. So, the lovers. Yeah, this is a strong soul connection regardless, guys. Okay? Uh, you could also be dealing with the Gemini here. So, what is that death card upside down? Seven of Cups, Five of Cups. Page of Swords. So, now they're stalking. The communication very small. You guys could be barely communicating. Um, this is not going to be every Libra story, okay? With the Knight of Swords, somebody's very immature and needs to balance their emotions here. The Knight of Swords is somebody who's coming rushing in quickly. But with the Seven of Swords, you know, they could be lying also. So, what else for Libra? What is that? Yeah, this is like, okay, there's a brand new opportunity here, but somebody has to be vulnerable. Um, why am I... I keep getting this energy where I just feel like, you know, it's not, you're not a priority. They're not a priority. The strength card. You could be dealing with the Leo as well. See, this attachment here. I feel like somebody has codependency issues. For real. Um, thank you. Um, <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to explain it. Thank you. Uh, anyways, uh, somebody has codependency issues. I really feel like that. And that's something here that needs to heal. You know, let go of the disappointments. Uh, let go of the codependency um, all the attachments, you know, so it could be a healthy connection here. What is all this material aspect about Libra's relationship or a source? So somebody could be not making any move. They're working on themselves, praying, meditating, taking bubble baths. That's what the four of swords to me is. It's, uh, you know, taking a pause and, and just holding back, taking a pause, thinking about it. And that's what's causing stagnation in the relationship though. It's like making you guys um, not move forward. But with the Six of Cups, it's reminiscing the good times, thinking about this person in a positive light. This person is thinking of you in a positive way. I have romance decks here that will break it down. Um, but I just feel like there's this huge, yeah, so you guys could be at this crossroads with this person about kind of like how can we move forward from this. Um, it's just working on the communication here. So tell me about that Seven of Cups again and the Knight of Swords for Libra, October 17th to the 18th. Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, and the Empress. So you could be a mom dealing with somebody who's a mom. Um, 
you could also be, uh, you know, just, uh, the queen of all queens, you know, um, you could be wanting to be a mom, you know, take it how it resonates. But with the Knight of Cups, I feel like somebody's coming forward, but they're still a little confused. And with the Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, somebody's getting mental clarity, like working on themselves. And with the Ace of Cups, this is the start of self-love. It's also the start of a loving relationship. Can I, I'm going to get one card from here to clarify the Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. Queen of Clubs. So you, Libra, could be somebody who's very um, sexy, very attractive, uh, you're very confident, or you could be dealing with somebody like that, um, and you don't underestimate yourself. And this person, whoever is resonating with the Queen of Clubs here, very goal-oriented, not afraid to chase their dreams, they see things clearly, and they love themselves. And that could be why whoever is coming out as all this sword energy, this teenager here, um, why somebody else is a queen here, is having a hard time with the Ten of Wands here um, and the Seven of Swords. I feel like uh, somebody feels like they have to almost... I feel like somebody's out of somebody's league here almost. Three of Clubs. Yeah, there's more patience and planning needed here. Four Clubs upside... Well... Let me get, what was that? Four of clubs? Clarify the four of clubs? Wheel of fortune. Okay, so maybe um, this was a relationship where it wasn't really working out, right? And let me see what's at the top of the deck. Seven of coins. Yeah, it was a relationship that wasn't really working out, right? But with the two of cups here, there's mutual feelings here involved. And with the four of clubs, wheel of fortune, and seven of coins... Uh, some of you guys are dealing with twin flame energy, right? Uh, but with the four of clubs, this could be a marriage... And in order to change things for the better, somebody is analyzing themselves or the situation. So there's just like, I don't know, I feel like it's not balanced. I feel like somebody's not a priority. I feel like, you know, it's just somebody's codependent. They have issues, a little bit issues that they have to work on still. Uh, let's see, Libra, October 17th to the 18th. Two more shuffle, Libra, last shuffle, October 17th to the 18th. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I hate who I really am from you. You see, somebody's at this checkpoint, Libra, whether that's you or them, and they're working on themselves. I wish I could take back my words. Somebody could have been very vulgar in the past. You came closer than anyone. You see, somebody's having issues being vulnerable. And it says you came closer than anyone, you know, um, to for so it's either you where or them having issues opening up you know and you or them came close to breaking down that wall in that person i lost myself for a little while last shuffle for libra october 17 to the 18th i couldn't let you get close to me see somebody has like this wall up um and it's saying here libra honestly use your powers you and I were too young sideways. So that's only for some of you guys. Um, just being near you is intoxicating. Um, pretty much this is for some of you guys where where you, you know, maybe you guys, um, if this is like a past person, you guys just, it was a bad timing, right? And if this is a new person, I just feel like this person has issues opening up. So uh, let's see, Libra, October 17th to the 18th with like being vulnerable. Therefore, and I feel like it's just because somebody's confused on whether or not, you know, they want to be single, they want to be in a relationship, you know, sex, drugs, money, um, they want the finer things in life, shoes, cars, concerts, take it out right now. Last shuffle for Libra, October 17th to the 18th. See, it's um, sabotage, rebuilding, persistence, and working on it. See, I feel like somebody's working on themselves. But at the same time, they can stay away. So, Libra, October 17th to the 18th. Camera, reminiscing. See, somebody is thinking about the good times, but it's saying here, learn from the past. Talking, interested, conversing more. So, you see, you guys could be talking. happily. Some of you guys, um, happily single. Moving on. The Phoenix, new phase. So some of you guys are transforming yourselves and being single. Healthy choices, you see. 
making healthy choices and love and in life self-love self-care being happier engagement ring any more messages for libra with this deck what about that man holding a heart a libra see twin flames see some of you guys are dealing with twin flame yin yang balance coupling complement each other one more card for the man holding a heart See, stop the pattern, silent treatment. So some of you guys could be giving somebody a silent treatment here. Libra, let's see. Love, even though you love this person or vice versa, right? Take it how it resonates. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close it off here. If this helped you guys out in any way, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye.